Hey what is up guys it is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video everyone so today I'm going to be bringing all of you episode what is it 21 of the life walkthroughs so Jesus Christ 21 episodes dude that is that's honestly insane and I feel like that's not even that many episodes though for the amount of time that I've been recording this series but that is besides the point anyways today we are going to continue our journey in Mushu we need to I think build like a soul chain with a soul cage that will like help us go to the death oni and then after the Death Oni, it's pretty much the end of Mushu, so we're getting really close here. But anyways, let's start off our journey today with starting off, starting off, I just, we're gonna talk to this girl, yeah. Uh-oh, oh no, that's so awkward. Hello, hello. Welcome to Ji Hong B's Metal Shop. I haven't had customers in, well, it's been a while. Because you're dead, lady. I'll be frank with you, I'm a ghost. Yep. I'm not sure what I mm -hmm. can help you with, but whatever it is, it's free. Oh, what a nice lady. You want a soul chain. Hmm. Never had anyone ask me for one, but lots of things change when you become a spirit. I can't <laughs> make the chain myself, of course, but I can tell you how to do it. First, you'll need to defeat some walking dead to collect some dark souls. Then come back here. All right, so we got to get our souls first. All right, I'll see you guys when I've done that. Just had a nice two little battles there. Anyway, let's continue. Yes, yes, you did a great job getting those dark souls. How do you now know? put them in the brazier there and forge your chain. It's kind of creepy. Okay, so we have the chain now, right? And the soul cage. What more do we need? You are doing well, young wizard. You are freaking me out. Okay. There's your chain. All done. Okay, maybe I helped with the spiritual bits, but you did the real work. Mm-hmm. Thanks for stopping by I like this lady. Bee's metal Actually shop. giving me credit. Go on and show Ken Shui what you did. Maybe he'll start to relax a bit. Give me the credit that I deserve. That's good. All right, Ken Shui. Let's see. I really don't know what more there is to do, though, here. I don't think I remember the storyline as well as I thought. You have the chain. I was holding my breath till you came back. That is, I would have if I had breath to hold. <laughs> oh, brave wizard, you have everything you need to capture that evil spirit? Dude, he's hilarious. You'll find the evil spirit's vile self oh, beyond boy. the outskirts of town. We village spirits are behind you. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, so we gotta defeat this spirit. He's pretty close, I think. Let's just leave a mark, though. Right by this guy here, because, uh, yeah, we'll definitely need one. Those teleporters aren't gonna help one bit. But yeah, dude, we're getting super close to the end of Mushu. I'm honestly really, really excited to go to Dragonspire. I'm not really sure why. I think I'm just kind of excited to read the dialogue there because I feel like it's been a really, really long time since I've actually gotten invested in, like, the Dragonspire storyline. I feel like I don't really know it that well. So that'll be interesting to read. Really looking forward to that. Okay, where is this guy? If you want to oh. be humiliated in battle, by all means, fight me! <laughs> okay, Jesus. I'll fight you, dude. I'll fight you. I'm gonna centaur your ass. Hold on. Do I have one? Oh, you. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're we're getting. So okay, I didn't need. You know. There we go. It, it all works out in the end, right? Get some pretty juicy pulls there. All right. Should I put one more blade on just to be safe? I probably should. Yeah, why not? We might as well. We have it. Oh, no. Another mantle. I've, these guys mantle so much. I don't remember a lot of bosses mantling past this world, though. I mean, it, I'm sure it happens, but not too often here. I'm going to blade one more time. Actually, I'm going to faint. It's going to be an overkill, but I, I just kind of want to make sure that I get the kill, you know? So we'll do that. And then centaur. Oh, dude, I love using this spell. Oh, just like, oh, that's so strong, dude. Look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. Another thing that I'm really excited about is Forest Lord. At level, I think, 48, they changed it now. Which is really good for us in our walkthrough here. So, really looking forward to getting that spell. Alright, so you're dead. There you go. Do you guys know why? I never understood why, you know, when he shot that arrow. Oh my god, 4k, dude. No! You young wizard, I shall have my revenge one day. <laughs> oh my god, do you guys ever know why, like, when he shoots that arrow, like, a tree sprouts up? Like, I don't, 
I, I never understood why that happens. Uh -huh. Something to do with centaurs, I don't know. I can speak loudly again. I don't feel the evil spirit anymore. Oh. Unless you bring that spirit cage too close to me. Oh, oh hey. You will now control a powerful spirit and have freed the good spirits of this village. Now we can watch over our families and troubled souls as you have done. Please carry that vile spirit away where it can do no more harm. Like the temple. Yes, take the cage to the guardian there. Oh, we gotta go all the way back to Mr. Kebo? Alright. I will see you guys back at the temple then. Alright, we are back at the beautiful Yoshihito temple, and he's gonna tell us what to do next. Ah, I sense you have captured a strong spirit. With its power, you can now cross the Cursed River. Alright. The Cursed River prevents anything good from crossing it. No matter how distasteful, we can more easily defeat only no death with an evil spirit. The time has come. Once we cross the river, we will meet only no death himself. Here we go. Our task is simple, but long in coming. We must defeat only no death and bring back the fruit of life. Meet me at the edge of the broken bridge. I'm ready when you are, wizard. All right, cool. So this is pretty much the final real dungeon we have. You guys will see what happens next after no, this, but... you mustn't cross the waters. I will not <laughs> help. I can't stop. No! <sighs> he tried his best. You can see us over there. I cannot refuse. I will help you across. Anyways, we're all the way over here now. Yep, cross the broken bridge. Okay, the tree of life. Let's do this. Oh man, we're actually making progress. It feels good. It feels good. I don't even think this dungeon's nearly as long as the Plague Oni one, so... That is also very exciting. So we can round off Mushu today easily. Okay, hold on. Quick little detour, I'm sorry, but mana is nice to have. Curses! Another barrier! Oni no death has ruined the Tree of Life. We must enter the spirit world and challenge him there. Good idea, man. I wish I could walk in your shoes, but your actions show that fate has chosen you alone to defeat Oni no death. You must use the summoning candles to open a portal to the spirit world. Go now. I will see that no evil follows you. All right, awesome. Pretty sure we don't get to go there right away, though. All right, time to inspect the tree, then. Get this fruit to the Emperor, because, uh, good lord, he needs it. He's been on that bed for some time now. All right, cool. Oh, this guy. I totally forgot about him. The great Muda spoke of you, and of your wish to heal the Emperor by using the fruit of life. Only no death has hidden in the spirit world and taken the portal summoning candles with him. To restore the tree of life, you must go after him. Many have asked much of you. I ask only for your faith. You must venture hmm. forth and find the bandit Nomunaga. He holds the dagger of shadows. You must take it from him. Your destiny awaits, revered wizard. Search the garden. And return with the Dagger of Shadows. New Munaga. Alright. Let's leave a mark here. I'm pretty sure one of these teleporters can get us fairly close, I believe, to the boss here. Alright, dude. Tree of Life. Oh, dude, this is crazy. This was always, like, one of my most favorite dungeons in Mushu. Okay, which teleporter was it? Was it this one? 350. This one? 320. Okay, okay. And, uh, Central Meadow. Seven, yeah, okay, it was this one. <laughs> I swear to god, it's always like the last one that is actually the right one. But I'm going through all of them here. Alright, let's get that it dagger. It must be humbling to stand in my presence. Now remove yourself, or I will remove you. Okay. I'm sorry, like, just after a while, the boss's threats just get less and less menacing. But were they ever really menacing to begin with? I don't know. Not really. Oh, he's gonna myth shield. Very good play. Expert play right there. Good job, uh, Mr. Painbringer. <laughs> okay. And then... Yep, I can do that. Definitely gonna blade again. Don't think I got a faint up yet, but... We're doing the best we can with what we have. What does this guy got? Lightning bats? Storm snake. <laughs> oh, man. 
I kind of wish you could actually learn this spell. I kind of like the look of it. I do. Alright, so let's put that on. Now I've got an extra 45% blade. Very, very nice. And then I could put on another one just to seal the deal. But he's death, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, that's that's cool. God, I don't know what to say after I fizzle. That it's just so awkward. Like, <laughs> oh my god, dude, can I draw it again, please? Please, I don't want to use Leaf Storm, but I'll risk it. Whatever. <laughs> no, that makes everything harder. Now we're just gonna be doing less damage. That is not fun. That is not fun at all. All right, at least we powered that. Maybe we can like. I don't know, double AoE if this doesn't work. But it should, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, we're all good. That's right, yes, that's Painbringer. Naga drops the Dagger of Shadows. Fall to the ground. You guys don't leave marks during questing, highly recommend it. You have reclaimed the dagger. Thank you for your faith. No, thank you, man. Now thank you. Plunge the dagger of shadows into the tree of life. Have no fear. This will do no harm to the tree. The Dagger of Shadows can open a portal into the spirit world and take you to Oni no Death. Be careful, as Oni no Death is more powerful there than in this world. Why do you talk like that? He will lie to strike despair into your I swear heart. Swear he just smoked a do pack or something. Listen, you have the strength to restore the Tree of Life. Go now. Use the Dagger of Shadows to open the portal to the spirit world. He will lie to strike despair into your heart. Okay. Let's see if he actually does that. That'd be interesting. A portal suddenly rips open. Yeah, so this is like the second and only time that we get to go to the spirit world again. I think it looks exactly the same, right? Still cool though, mind you, but... <laughs> still looks like this. Okay, that's right. We got the demon form first. I see through all. You are but a giant full of fear. Here in the spirit world, your paltry magic has no power. A little bit insulting. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I know I said this in the last episode, but dude, spirit world, it's fucking sick. All right, so let's let's actually faint him. Yeah, I think we're gonna faint him. Let's see. Is he okay? Yeah, he is death though, which is good for us. Which is very good indeed. Hopefully I can pull my rat, and this should be over in like two rounds. Alright, let's see. Okay, did not pull the rat. Can I pull the rat from here? I can. Okay, that is good. That is very good for us. Alright, I think all we need is that then. Then we get to fight the actual Oni. I never understood why they had these little... These little pre-battles before the actual battle. Like, in its in their pig form or whatever. I'm not sure. But whatever, man. It's more content for me. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, dude. Do you think we can power? Oh, God. Okay, well, we're gonna damn well try. Did I power? Nope. I never do. Okay. Oh, my God. What are you doing now? Dude, I, what is this? PvP or something? Oh, my God. Okay, maybe I can pull it again. I, I don't have that many TC in my deck, so... Okay, cool. This should work. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, goodbye. Sayonara. Nice knowing you. Kajimusha falls back in defeat. From his body Wait, emerges I... a terrible creature. It is the Death Oni. Right. Too late. The Tree of Life is already doomed. You cannot stop the tide of darkness. Surrender and know the cold hand of despair. Hold on, how did I level up from that? So wait, I completed a quest there. Okay, but we still have, of course, the main quest line. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, he should have a little more health. 
2k. <laughs> I think that's like as much as the Plague Oni used to have. So yeah, not that strong still. Starts off with a power pip though, a little bit intimidating. Definitely a little bit worried. I don't even think he life shields, does he? I don't know. Ooh, okay, can I pull my rat? Like, come on, dude. Okay, so he's already fainted. Okay, so we pretty much got this in the bag then. Let's play it one more time. Just please do not weakness or mantle me, alright? And then we'll be all good. We will be all good. Does the death only drop a cool one? I kind of want to look that up right now. Okay, cool. Got my rats, so they should be dead. Hold on. Uh, Wizard 101, Death Oni Wand. Does he actually have- Ooh, yeah, he does. Death Oni's Paradox Blade. Okay, so the Mushu Sword that he drops, I knew it. Okay, yeah, I knew he dropped one. He drops the Myth one. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. I'd like to get it. I mean, like, I would definitely not complain. Oh, I'm always down for new stitches, dude. New stitch gear. Wow, they really talked a big talk about this guy. One nut to the face. That was all he needed to go down. Once and for all. Okay. So he's got a chest here. Oh, man, I kind of... Wait, hold on. Do they still have that free thing going on? They do! Oh, okay. Definitely not going to spend more on that. I was just, you know, if I got the... If I got the Paradot Blade, I would definitely not complain. But it's fine. It's okay. Maybe I'll come back and farm for it another day, because it actually looked pretty cool when I looked it up just now. Alright, and look! The tree is restored. There's its fruit. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You have saved the tree of life, as was foretold. I sense fate has given you a great destiny, which you have yet to fulfill. It is bigger than you can imagine. Ooh. Take the tree's fruit and return it to the Emperor of this world. May the light always shine upon your path, young wizard. Oh, what a nice guy. All right, let's go to the Emperor. I guess first we gotta talk to this little advisor dude first, though. You have returned with the fruit of life. Yup. I admit, I thought 7%. my action would cure his enlightened majesty from the curse placed upon him by Malastare. It was an 8%. But a mere hmm. student from Wizard City has proven that even the high monk can't do everything. No, no. It's never too late to learn humility or the power of faith. Who's I'll stay guy? here to prevent another Oni from attacking this place. Please hurry to his imperial majesty's side and heal him. Is that really what the saddle looks like? Place his sword beside him, pour the pure water on his wounds, and feed him the fruit from the tree of life. I have the utmost faith that you will succeed where I failed. Alright. What's up, Blake? How you doing? So hold on, I... I've been- I've had this level 15 ring equipped for so long. I low-key just want to equip this because it'll give me a healing boost. I don't know, dude. I kind of want that. I kind of want to equip that. I don't know why. Even though I don't heal that much, but, like, I will definitely in the future. Yeah, whatever. Just a little bit less health. 8% outgoing, though. Not bad. Not bad at all. Was it outgoing or is it incoming? It, it was... Wait. Is that incoming, actually? Wait, that might be incoming. Either way, it doesn't matter if we heal ourselves. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and heal the Emperor first, though. There he is. Look at him. So weak, so feeble. <sighs> Alright. Eat my fruit! Fool! Oh, no. Do you think I would give up this shell so easily? I am not like the other Oni. You have woken me only to make me stronger. This land is mine. Alright, so yeah, there was a demon inside of him. Wait. He's gone. Okay, guess that is him, in a way. That's kind of weird. Okay, so we need prisms. We definitely need prisms. I know he has a lot of health, the Jade Oni. Let's see, so we've got three separate blades that we could do. Faint, uh, okay. We should be fine. 
I'm gonna pack full prisms though. Just because I know he death shields. I I'm reasonably sure he death shields. And then let's pack three centaurs. Because it's just him, he doesn't have any minions, so might as well try to do the most damage possible. Oh, cool, so we went first as well. Okay, 6k, they actually nerfed that. I think he was at around 7.5k before the nerf. So that's good, that'll make him a little easier to kill. And yep, there's the first death shield. So it'd be great if we could kill him in one shot then, so we don't have to deal with that. That would be nice. So I don't have to put on a prism to take that off and then put on another prism. That would be, that would be extremely annoying. Let's just start stacking though. I'm not really worried about dying, more so just not killing. <laughs> If that makes sense. But yep, this is the final boss, guys. This is it. This is it for Mushu. That is kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy that we've actually made it this far. Mushu felt kind of short, dude. I'm not even going to lie. Do I need all these prisms? I might, though. See, that's the thing. I might. Ooh, I do need that extra life blade. We literally just need all the blades that we can get. <laughs> so, let's put that on. Is he gonna- okay. At least he didn't death shield a second time. That's good. Alright, so if he doesn't weakness me, I'm pretty confident that we can at least almost kill him. Okay, there we go. It's monstrous that. Alright. And then I need my pet blade and a regular life blade. And if I can get those two things, then he's like 100% dead. I think. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I think. Let's see what we can draw. Okay, cool. So we got the regular life blade. I'm gonna discard that. Should I discard one of the prisms? Ugh. I don't feel safe doing it, but I'm going to do it. Yep, now we regular life blade. And it would be very clutch if I could pull my pet blade as well. Because 6k is a lot of health. Uh-oh. Okay, that's just a mantle. That's okay. That's fine. How many cards do I have? Okay, we got a fairy. Got another life blade. I guess I can just waste it on life blading again. That's fine. That way we don't have to deal with fizzling the pet blade. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Did not trust myself to not fizzle there. It's actually so good that we went first, too. Get that prism off immediately. Okay. I could just heal. Because it would be funny. Because I don't want to discard... Ugh, like, these are all good cards that I don't want to discard, you know? I could just go for it. <laughs> I could just go for it. If it hit that 770... You know what, let's just do it. I'm gonna risk it. This is probably a dumb idea. It's probably a dumb idea. But it might happen, who knows, he has a feint on him. Who really knows at this point? Crazier things have happened in the world, right? Okay. So he will also boost. So this might, this might be it. This might be the end of Mushu right here. Okay, good, thank God. Whew. And that's it. And we got a Christmas oh elf. <laughs> Sorry, man. With the Jade Oni gone, the Emperor returns to his Ooh, former self. He honors you with a deep bow. Hold on, where's Mushu? Oni Slayer, yeah. Wizard, I am in your debt. What you did to reach me, I can only imagine. But I thank you. You have saved me and Mushu. You must take the Dragon Spire Spiral Key. Ah, uh, yeah. It is no longer safe here. But wait. What about Malastare? He took the spiral key to Dragonspire. He did, so how are I you gonna- I have the Dragonspire oh. spiral key, your Imperial Majesty. I caught up to Malastare as he opened the gate. I couldn't stop him, but he had to leave the key behind. Whew. Forgive me, wizard. I failed in my duty to protect his enlightened majesty, so I clung to my duty to keep the spiral key safe. You understand? Mm -hmm. But now, as his Imperial Majesty commands, take the spiral key with our best wishes. You have earned it. All right, we got it. Be careful, esteemed wizard. Malastare is no ordinary enemy. I hope that your experiences on Mushu will help you in the battle to come. Though Mushu's problems Ooh. are petty next to the threat Malastare presents to the Nine percent, though. Is saving the world if those in need go without help. You were right to aid us in our time of trouble. Please let my old friend Merle Ambrose in Wizard City know that the Spiral Key is in your hands. 
You will need his advice to prepare for such a strong opponent. Mm -hmm. My thanks to you again and farewell. Although I always had to refuse his invitation to teach at Ravenwood, I am grateful Ambrose has such a talented student. Wow, that was actually kind of flattering. What do we get? Oh, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great. Oh, dude, I could, this ring, though. 9%, but I'm only level 37. Oh, that's a bummer, dude. That is a bummer. Let's actually go to Merle Ambrose right now. Tell him of all of our nice deeds that we've done in Mushu. So that's it for that world. Another one under Dustin Lifeheart's belt. Oh, man. You love to see it. He is making it in this wizarding world, dude. I tell ya. Alright, Merle. Got something to say to you. Got the key, too. Alright, I also have some other things to discuss with you guys after this, so, hello. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly as you relate what has happened on Mushu. Emperor Yoshihito did what he could. It's too bad he couldn't stop Malastare, but at least we have the spiral key now. It's kind of weird that he doesn't check up on me more when I'm, like, questioning throughout these worlds. Uh, octagonal wooden plate. Okay, so yeah. We have a lot of stuff to do now. A lot, a lot of stuff, okay? So we have Grizzle Me This, which is the continuation of Grizzleheim, which we are definitely going to do. We have To the Registrar, which I believe is the quest for the World of Wisteria, which I think I am going to start right now sylvia's saga i don't know what that is bad blood don't know what that is and then that's just the pet quest that's just a random diego quest i don't think these are very important i'm not sure though but i know these two are probably for the two worlds that one of them we need to start and then the other one we actually have to continue which is very exciting it's very exciting so we got a lot to do before we actually round off the first arc here. But I think we're going to go ahead and start with Syria right now. Because I think I have a little bit more time in the episode. So I am going to do this one. And then after we finish with Syria, Which won't take that long. We're going to continue Grizzleheim. Finish up whatever we can there. And then probably Dragon Spire. I guess that's the plan. But yeah. As you know, the other faculty members and I are quite impressed with your performance here at Ravenwood School. Thank so you. So much so that we would like you to travel abroad as a representative of the best Wizard City has to offer. You will compete in a magical tournament. Yeah. Joining students from other magic schools for the ultimate prize, the Spiral Cup. I remember this. Sadly, Ravenwood hasn't taken the cup in a long, long while. But we can't give up trying. We certainly cannot. Please report to Mr. Lincoln in Ravenwood. He can provide you with all the details. Yeah, so this world, it's not necessarily going to give us a ton of XP or anything, but I think the questing experience is awesome. I really do think it's just a really, really nice world, the world of Wisteria. If you guys haven't seen it, well, you will very, very soon. But yeah, I got a little time in the episode, so hey, why not start it? We're not going to be able to get very much through it, but uh, we can definitely at least go there. Hello there, young wizard. I've been expecting you. That's creepy. The Ravenwood School of Magic must send a student wizard to participate in a spiral-wide tournament of magic. This tournament is a very prestigious event, a chance for students across the spiral to compete for their school's honor. The tournament is held at Pigswick Academy, a rival school to Ravenwood, located on the world of Wisteria. Ah, oh, yeah. After reviewing all eligible students, Headmaster Ambrose and the other professors chose you to be our representative. You sound surprised, Mr. Lincoln. You will need this ring to show that you're our champion, the student to defend Ravenwood's honor in the tournament. It's basically like the whole plot of Wisteria is like the Triwizard Tournament, if you guys have ever read Harry Potter. Mr. Lincoln hands you a heavy ring with an emblem of Bartleby inscribed upon it. Be sure to put that somewhere safe, mind you. Perhaps lock it away in a drawer. It's too precious to carry around loose. Now the spiral door will take you to Wisteria. When you get there, see the Pigswick Academy Registrar, Mrs. Dowager. All She'll right. get you set up and see that you're taken care of. Good luck. That was a lot of dialogue. Jesus, I do not remember that. Oh boy. Here we go, guys, a new world. It's always so refreshing going to another world. I feel like by the time you finish a world, you're pretty tired of it. Want to move on. Wisteria. Here it is, boys. Here is where our journey is going to take us next. Oh, Miss Crisp. It's so good to see you. Well, I haven't seen you yet, but we will. We will. 
Hello there. You must oh, be yeah, our welcome. visiting <laughs> wizard. Welcome to Pigswick Academy. Oh, yeah. I'll need to see your Ravenwood ring. Just a formality, of course. You show Mrs. Dowage the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. Oh, I will. You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools and to try to win the Spiral Cup. Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. Then speak to Benedict Glendemming. He is both master of arms and our judge. Mm -hmm. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. So be on the ready. That's right. When you've passed the qualifying round, return to me and we'll get you sorted out. How exciting. So yeah, this is the world of Wisteria. Well, a little part of it at least. I think it's a really, really beautiful world. I really do. Good vibes all around here. It's basically like a parody of Wizard City. And you guys will see that more and more as we quest through it. So yeah, I, I just love it. I really do. Look, the, we literally they literally have their own Diego. <laughs> it's great, dude. Also, uh, picture Malastair before he, I guess, went insane. Or whatever. Before all the trauma happened. And uh, I think they have his wand here somewhere too. Or a replica of it or something. Yeah, I always thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, the Spiral Cup. You inspect the Spiral Cup. The greatest prize in all the spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. That's disconcerting. For sure. Okay, now we gotta talk to Parody Diego. Uh, spiders being- What? Kane, I'm on my life, wizard. What are you talking about? Greetings, visitor. Off, I am Benedict way. Clem Deming, uh, master of arms of Pigsvik Academy. Let me just- Yeah. <laughs> For years, <laughs> Sorry, I have magic and dueling. With my training, Pigsvik students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are final. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Let us see hmm. if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. Yeah. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the chamber of the basilisk, if you will, and defeat Blaze Flamerender. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Perhaps next year, no? So yeah, everyone here is, well, how do I best describe this? Kind of an asshole. Everyone from Wisteria. Well, well, well. A wizard of Ravenwood, yeah. huh? I'll <laughs> go easy on ya. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of a common theme, you know, throughout this world. Yeah, there's more and more where that came from. You will all see. Okay. Just gonna life blade it. You know what, dude? To prove just how shit you are. Oh, oh no, he's using Astro. Oh god. No, but like, I'm just gonna unenchant rat you, dude. I'm not having it today. I am the Oni Slayer. You really wanna mess with me? See, like, he's not even good. He just fizzled. Like, who would ever... Who would ever fizzle? Not me. Never. Alright, bud. Unenchanted rat. Just for you. There you go. So when you run into, you know, and, uh... Wow! Oh. Go and tell Master Glenn, damn it, that you won the duel! I wasn't expecting much, but you certainly showed me a thing or two. <laughs> right, so when they're just, you know, being an overly cocky, just nut in their face. It works for me. Anyway, back to Diego. Well, Benedict, sorry. So Diego has stepped up his game, What no? is this angle? Very well, then. You will not be going home just yet. Why is he sh Why am I getting a nice view of his horse behind? The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. All right. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably just end it off right here. <laughs> Before we see her and continue our journey in Wisteria. I think I'm going to end it off here. That is pretty much all the time that I have for this episode. But I really hope you guys did enjoy. We finished up Mushu. Oh my god, it's so amazing, dude. And we're now in one of my favorite worlds in the entire game, which is Wisteria. And a lot of people actually disagree with me on that, but as we go through the world, you know, maybe maybe some of you will come to your senses, all right? Regardless, I am very, very excited to continue. But that is going to be all for me, everyone. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy, or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it is free. It helps me out, and you get notified every time I post. So, 
why wouldn't you really what like what's the downside anyways that's gonna be all for me everyone i'll see you guys in the next video or stream whenever that may be so take care enjoy the rest of your day and peace out